What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. All right, so moving right along, we're working in Studio One version 4.1 today, and I wanted to move along from where we left off in last week's video and go a little further into the note effects. In this video, I want to take a look at using Repeater more specifically using Repeater to generate song ideas that we can then build our productions on. So I've gone ahead here and I've got an instance of Repeater on this track over here. We are actually triggering a Celtic harp instrument. This is actually an instrument that I built myself and I poured it over from my contact instruments. So if we were to have a listen to this in its default state, it's very plain sounding. Now I've done a little bit of sound design to get the sound that I want over here. So just a little bit of gain staging, a little bit of EQ, and I've also gone ahead and added an H delay over here just to give this a little bit of bounce back and forth. So if we were to listen to this though, it's very, very simple. In fact, I'll go ahead and open up the music editor so that we can see. So if we go back to the beginning, Okay, so just like I said, very, very simple. But when we bring in the repeater, we have the ability to completely alter this information. This is happening in real time. So I've just gone with the first preset here and these presets, I have them, they were available. I purchased the EDM Synth Classics sound set. And within this sound set, we also had a folder containing all of these presets for the note repeater. So let's go ahead. The one thing I wanna do is I wanna change this preset. I want this to be triggering eighth notes. So let's go ahead and have a listen. Now keep in mind, this is all coming from this file. So first things first, Let's go ahead and let this play out and we'll talk about a couple different options that we have here. Okay, so it's just triggering and it's based on what's happening here in the repeater. That's really cool, that part over there. Okay, so if I was going for something like a movie soundtrack or something like that, I think that would be really, really cool, the way that those notes are playing off of each other. And this has to do with this pattern that the repeater is triggering. In addition, the delay that I have here and the decay as it bleeds over into the other notes is creating a really, really cool vibe. So I like that, but it's not quite what I'm going for over here. Now, one thing I want to mention is that we can make any adjustments to these. And in fact, I would encourage you to do so. So for example, let's try to make an adjustment to one of these areas over here. Let's change this to five semitones from three and let's have a listen now. Okay, now in addition, we can also use some other functions. So I could either right click and change the transpose value of this instrument part. But what I tend to do more often when I'm trying out ideas is I will use the track based transpose option. And if you're not seeing this, we just need to click this little eye over here. This will open up the inspector or click the F4. Let's have a listen to this now, completely transposed, obviously. Okay, so that's cool as well, but I like it in the original key, so we'll leave it as that. Now, I would encourage you to mess around with these parameters as much as you can, change things up, try to get yourself away from the preset as much as possible. But the idea here is that I would have never created something like this or created a pattern like this. We tend to have the typical approaches that we like to write as producers or composers, and these types of tools are great to break yourself out of that box, all right? So now the last step is once I'm happy with this, obviously I don't wanna be looking at six notes or eight notes on an instrument part. I would wanna go ahead and go to instrument parts and I would want to render my instrument track. Now this would automatically render all of that MIDI information or that note data into the actual instrument part. 
So now we're looking at the actual note data that we created using the repeater. And from here, I could change or edit anything that I want to. Okay, so now full disclosure, I've already gone ahead and prepared a little track here. Now it's worth mentioning that the starting point for me creating this track was the exact same preset using the repeater. The only difference is I went about editing it a little bit differently. So now if we take a look at this part over here, and in fact, let's solve this out. This is what I ended up doing. Very, very simple. Still the same sound design effects chain that's happening. And now if we bring in all of the elements that I added, Okay, so I think the important thing to point out here is that this is not about just pulling up a preset and writing a song. This is about using the tools that we have to generate ideas and then from there to edit our note data or our MIDI information further and add some custom sound design in terms of coming up with some cool effects chains and something that's very different. And then from there, you can literally build a whole entire track around what you've created. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I'll do my best to get back to you and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.